In the midst of all of the uncertainty, chaos and fear that begin to plague us here in 2020, it's very easy to forget about the three little things that we should all remember, being patient, being kind and being aware. I'm Luke Christian and if we're meeting here for the first time at Hearing Like Me, then welcome. We make a lot of deaf content here as well, such as dealing with deafness, dealing with hearing loss, our lives, what we like to do, our interests, travelling, fashion and things like that. I'm also mega chuffed and excited to reveal that I am sticking around with Phone Like and Hearing Like Me, the third year of running, so I'm really chuffed and excited. But before we do get into the video, I just want to check in with you. How are you doing? I know that this is a crazy time that we're all in at the minute with the worldwide pandemic. So what's the one thing that's keeping you busy and productive during lockdown? Leave me a comment below and let's connect down there. Now that face masks have become mandatory here in the United Kingdom, it's made life so much more harder for deaf people like me. And to put things into perspective, 11 million people are deaf in the UK and have some form of hearing loss. What started out as just wearing face masks like medical appointments and on public transport has now pretty much spilled out everywhere. So that includes things like shops, supermarkets, social occasions, and just like general being out and about and things like that. And this was very clear to me and how challenging it actually was when I visited a local store and their mouths were completely covered and they didn't know any form of sign language. I've literally lost count of how many times I've had to, you know, ask people to repeat themselves. It's like gone through the roof pretty much. But there was one scenario when I went into a local store and one of the shop assistants was wearing a face mask and I went to the till to buy something and they kept saying things and I, I couldn't understand what they were saying. But rather than, you know, be helpful and accommodating to me, it was like they were getting frustrated. It was like they were getting angry because I wasn't able to understand what it is that they were saying. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't really understand what you were saying. <coughs> really sorry, but I still can't understand what you're saying. Maybe you could just write something down. <coughs> I felt quite embarrassed and I was getting a bit flustered and, you know, a little bit hot and my face was going a little bit red. And I just felt embarrassed and, like, let down by the whole situation. It was only after I'd left that I'd wish I'd had the confidence to be able to say, I'm deaf speak up. Being deaf a lot of the time we do rely on seeing people's facial expressions and being able to you know work out what it is that they're saying and things like that. So because of that incident it made me think well am I going to experience this every single time I leave my house? I believe that we can do a lot more in terms of spreading deaf awareness especially in this current climate that we're all in at the moment and get the general public and hearing people especially to be able to understand how hard it is for us as a deaf community and the hard of hearing community as well. And one of the main things that I think that really helps with raising deaf awareness is wearing a clear face mask. The most important thing about wearing a clear face mask is that they remove the barriers and make it easier for deaf people to be able to see lips when it comes to lip reading and get a better understanding of what it is that the person is trying to say. There are three things that have helped me when it comes to knowing what the benefits are of wearing a clear face mask, which are number one is obviously the most important, encourage people to learn the basics of sign language. Number two is to invest in a clear face mask and you can get one from the Hearing Like Me website in their shop and they've got loads of different ranges of like colours and different designs and things like that. And number three, which is the last one, is write something down. You know, everyone pretty much has a phone on them all the time. It's really simple, just get your notes up, write it in, write it down, whatever it is that you're trying to say and sort it. Deaf identity is more important than ever today, especially in this world that we're living in, because it challenges us to boldly state our deafness to the world and get them to understand that, oh, 
maybe they have forgotten about us, maybe they do need to work harder, maybe they need to work on being more inclusive so that everyone in the deaf community and the hard of hearing community can fully understand and be included in what's going on. Whether you choose to express yourself by wearing, you know, a clear face mask, deaf identity clothing, hearing like me, clear face mask, and there's loads of different other options as well. And, you know, like I said, you can get someone to write something down on a pen and paper, or you could do it on the notes app on your phone. But either way, whether you're deaf, hard of hearing or hearing, there's three things that you need to remember, and that is be patient, be kind, and be aware.